I think, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. I think it's real important that uh, Joe Biden understands that his whole presidency is really, really hanging on one of the most important issues of our time. And I know that there's a lot. We have the abortion rights. We got all this stuff. Okay, I don't need to go into what they all are because y'all know. Okay. Um, and everybody has had a chance at Joe Biden uh, in terms of what their group or what defines their lineage and what defines their protection. As descendants of slaves here in America, we have a lot of requests because what seems to happen is we fight for freedom and then the whole damn world and then we support everybody else and then they think our freedom is a joke and no one stands with us. This is what's been going on and so this is what's going to continue because as the original people of the earth, we can't help it. We can't help but to love other people when they don't love us. And it's not just conditioning from the Bible. As you remember, George Washington said, hey, look, I can take these people right now. I can, not, I can knock them off. And all they're trying to do is just give me shit. That's, that's in essence what he said when he saw the Native American. He couldn't believe their energy and their spirits, the natives of the land. Because um, we know who we are and where we come from. And we know what our nature is. And that is to support and help. But what happens is there's a dominant society that has taken advantage of us for all those good traits that we have. And they tried to beat them out of us and replace them with the traits that they have. And that, my friend, is a recipe for disaster. Because a cat shouldn't be trying to act like a dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this right here, what, and I'm saying this to say, and there's no, you know, no jokes about it. The, the, one of the most important things that Joe Biden can do is to take away qualified immunity for police officers. I think that we have to stay alive, first of all. And the generations behind me have to stay alive. This is a genocide. This is a form of genocide when you see all the teenagers, all the men who are of uh, impregnating women ages being knocked off two and three and four times a day in different states throughout America. Not even talking about the hundreds of millions that we lost on the um, bottom of the Atlantic. All the lynchings, all the Jim Crow, all that. And it just seems like the focus is continuing to be on our demise. Either we're helping America and being the little engine who could because we they recognize that without us, the system would just fall apart. So they, so they get paid off of our misery. Okay? Let's just keep it real. And unless we can at least have some form of protection, there's no way out because we are a conquered people. Whether y'all want to admit it or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black people really get mad about that one. We're conquered. Look at how scattered and divisive and divisive that we are. You don't even have to worry about that. Common sense should tell you that we're divided. If it's not religiously uh, divided, economically divided, Anytime you know that you got all these so-called black billionaires 
And the majority of black people are still in the same condition.